This is MIP2 standard uh, unit in Volkswagen ZR vehicle and we are going to update um, radio database logo information. So first of all, press and hold menu button for about three seconds, go to software update and check the software train version. This is the software that, it's in, that is installed in your unit and right now you want to go to meephelper.com website, let me show it to you, and you want to enter this software train. This goes here and when you press go you will have all the things that can be done in your unit as well as latest firmware updates and navigation maps and over here we have the uh, radio station database uh, update you want to download this extract this to an empty sd card and when you extract it to sd card it should look like this so when you uh, open the sd card you have those files stored over there directly okay so now with the SD card prepared, we want to enter the glove box, put it in SD1. We already have some information that there's software update available. So let's go to update right away. Let's select SD card as the source of the update. We have the station logo database update available on the card. And over here, we want to just confirm which things are going to be updated. This is not available, not available. Part of the CPU is available and we can check exactly what's going to be installed. Custom station database. So let's go back, let's press start. Next. And right now, all we have to do is wait. Unit is rebooting for the first time. You will see the Volkswagen logo over here. We can hear the CD drive moving. It's uh, it's not so loud but it's noticeable and right now the update is taking place and you can see that it goes fairly quick. It's about 150 megabytes so it will take about a minute, maybe a minute and a half and after this time we should be um, should be ready for the second reboot of the system so let's wait 100% second reboot again we have the welcome screen again we can hear the CD drive it means that the uh, main unit was rebooted Let's give it a few more seconds. And right now we have the confirmation of the installation. We can see that the update was okay. So right now we need to press over here, press cancel and the unit will reboot one more time. Once again, we have the welcome logo. We can hear the CD drive moving over here. And this time, we should boot into normal operation mode. Let's check if radio works. Okay, it works. And we have, uh, we have access to the system. So let's add one of the stations to the favorites, whatever, press and hold. select empty spot, go back to radio. You can see that the radio logo was uh, stored to the preset over here. And right now we can also go to menu, press and hold to go to the hidden menu. Once again, software update versions, but this time go to versions and you can see the installation history over here, I believe. So the last update, the one at the top of the list is the station logo database for Europe and it was installed so we can confirm that it was installed in the system of course we can remove the uh, update source from the main unit and I believe I believe that's it